Alexi had a couple of big hits in that game. Um, you just need maybe the third or fourth, right? Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, Every batter in our lineup is so amazing. They've had such amazing years that, I mean, Ashley Thompson hitting the line drive to first base with, I think it was bases loaded, that, that would have been huge if that had gone through. So, I mean, our team is really awesome. We have a lot of very capable hitters, and it really is just a matter of inches, you know, just a hit falling there, a hit falling here, and it's a totally different ball game. So what's the mindset with this team now that you have to come back and win? We're just going to completely flush this game. It's in the past. It does not matter at all now. The only thing that matters is this next game, whoever we end up playing, we're going to have to play extremely hard, very focused, every single pitch, and leave it all out there on the field. Any more questions? No. All right, thank you. Thank you. The situation that Thompson was in, the base is loaded twice, didn't get pulled off the first time. But how unusual is it that face base is loaded, same batter, same situation, same outcome? Um, you talking about when we had bases loaded with Thompson up? Right, with Thompson up, just kind of unique. in one game they have the same repeat situation. Yeah. Well, that means the hitters before her were doing a good job getting on base, for one thing. But uh, in the first situation, that ball she hit uh, was a r extremely hard hit ball. And like Lex has said it, it's a game of inches. If that's a foot to the left or a foot to the right or a foot higher, you know, we've got a triple and three runs. But um, uh, I thought Thompson saw the ball well today, and I thought she hit the ball well today. So. In our lineup today, with bases loaded, she was the kid I wanted up, her or Alexa. They both were seeing the ball well, doing a good job. And it's not unusual for us to um, to load the bases, but we usually come up with a key, another key hit or two, and we just couldn't get that done today. Two meetings with the Utah coach, both games decided by one run. Was there anything different about the youths today than maybe way back in March? No, no. In fact, that's three games over the last two years that's come down to one run. So it's, you know, it's the Utah-BYU rivalry. It's always a great game. They're an excellent and well-coached team, and, and we're not too bad either. So you, you expect when we go on the field that we're going to have a battle. Uh, did you feel like they, were t they had some, some good swings in that last inning? Kind of, it seemed like, you know, she had... Uh, and you have a whole lot in that last thing from that first round. I think that's pretty good. So what do you think? It's just a matter of seeing her a few times, or um, what do you see there? Well, you know, that, that's an interesting analogy, and I'm not sure what the answer to that is. Um, they had two hits within three pitches in that last inning. A lot of that credit goes to Castro and Bowen. I mean, they, I think that's who it was, Castro and Bowen. They, you know, Castro put a nice swing on the ball and hit the ball hard, and then Bowen came up with a huge hit. So a lot of credit to them. I don't know why, I don't know if they hit good pitches. We'll have to review film. Or if McKenna left it over the plate in the seventh inning. Um, I don't think the game for us was lost in the seventh inning. I think the game for us was lost throughout that 11-11 runners on base. And then Utah just rose to the occasion in the seventh inning the way they've done many times this year and, and got the job done. What are your thoughts on pitching now? Is McKenna going to get more work tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Maybe even today. Uh, yeah. She'll definitely get more work. We don't uh, have anywhere to go if we don't win in this game so or the next game or the next game. So McKenna will be ready, and she's a workhorse, so she'll – uh, we haven't talked yet about who will start in the next game, but McKenna will be ready to pitch. What's a, from a training aspect, what do you do in between now and this next game to get her ready? McKenna ready? Yeah. Um, I, my, my feeling is we probably won't start McKenna next game, and even if we were, there probably isn't anything that you'd do. You'd, you'd, you know, we'll ice her down a little bit, not a lot. Um, try to keep the swelling out of her arm. Um, we're going to go try to find some lunch and see if we can, you know, Alexa said it for the players' end. They're going to not give this game another thought. That's, it's not quite as easy for me. <clears throat> but for us to rebound, I've been in the regionals enough times to know that when you lose in the championship 
winner's bracket game, it's really hard to come back in the next game and be focused and ready to play. So we're going to go try to get something to eat, <clears throat> try to um, stay confident and come out hard in the next game. And if we do that, we'll be back tomorrow. Um, we just we just the biggest thing for us is not what we can do medically to get McKenna ready to pitch it's what we can do mentally to have the entire team ready to play and you talk about mentally is it one of those things you just have to hone in on that next one if you even use the idea of getting another shot at Utah's motivation is that just totally out of yeah, well, it should be out of the pitcher because we're a one game at a time, one pitch at a time team. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That that game, we thought we thought we should have won that game, and that's a hard loss to get over. So the key mentally is not trying to get back to Utah tomorrow. It's trying to win the next game and trying to not to fall flat in the next game, which is in sports. Uh, you know, if, if someone ever comes up with the formula how to not do that, and they can make a lot of money on the circuit, I think. But um, we're going to try to put it behind us as much as we can and focus on either Fordham or Mississippi State. And then after that game, we'll look to Utah again and game plan for tomorrow. And again, tomorrow it's one game, one pitch at a time. We've got to win two tomorrow if we get back there. But it has to be one pitch, one, one game, one inning at a time. And we've been pretty good at doing that this year. And my suspicion is this team is veteran enough that we'll do that again today. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.